Okay, man. Two foot high. Bug out. And bed. 40 meters. Special erected. I timed myself. It took five minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, makes me wonder why I wasted five minutes of my life. So let's take a tour here. It wanders on down the yard at a height of well, probably two and a half feet, actually. Two and a half feet to three feet at times. So I cheat. Up she goes to the window. Uh, starting to rain out here, which hopefully means this damn thing will make a contact. Uh, I pray to the QRP antenna gods when you're done laughing at me have some mercy have some pity help me make a, a DX Q cell or two okay check this out man there's the wire there it goes out to the yard about two feet off the ground and I'm holding this by hand, so forgive the shakes. I decided to start on the 36 to 1 tap. It's a good place to start. Hang on. And so I connected it to my analyzer. And I turned it on. I couldn't believe it. It's, it's close. 6872 at an SWR of 1.7. Hang on. Pause phone. So I moved it from the 36 tap to the 49 to 1 tap. And uh, twiddled my knobs. And we got the standing wave ratio dropped. The resonant frequency dropped a tad maybe. Hang on. So I moved the antenna to the uh, uh, 64 to 1 tap, twiddled my knob, and look, it's 69.30, so it's 70 kilohertz lower than I'd like. Boy, I'm trying to hold this steady. 50 ohms with a reactance of 2? Are you serious? It's at perfect resonance at 69.30. I just need to uh, shorten it a tad. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is my third time recording this because the first two times it ended up turned 90 degrees. Tell you what, this Galaxy S6 Edge is the worst piece of shit ever invented by mankind. <laughs> so I had to put it on the little stand thingy. Look at this, man. So I whacked about six inches off and it didn't do it. So I went out and did that and I, uh, I folded about a foot and a half of that 60 foot, 63 foot wire back on itself. So it should be about a, what, 60, uh, about 61 and a half feet long out there, including the vertical part, which is about what, you know, four feet maybe. Look at the resonant frequency. Look at the reactance. Look at the resistance. The damn thing's perfectly resonant. It's 7 dot. We'll call it 7100. See what the standing wave ratio is at the top of the band. 2.2 to 1? Yeah. Not bad. When I work all my uh, phone DX single, I'm going to be down around here, man. I'm going to be down around here. Look at the standing wave ratio there. And when I work all that DX on CW, I'm going to be at the bottom of the band. I'm going to be right here. And look at the standing wave ratio. On a two foot high end fed wonder wire antenna. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that.
my first call on a freaking two foot high end fed. I'm gonna pause this. I gotta enter that call <laughs> and that QSO into my log and see where he's at. Hang on. So there you go. Thank you, OL725PLZ. Uh, first call on a two foot high end fed. Any, uh, and I'm working. Hang on. So. That is me. That is him. And that is how my signal flew. Boy, this phone just cannot record. It can't record. It's awful. 73. You know what, man? I come out in my yard a lot with this phone since I've been uh, ruining YouTube with my videos. You know what, man? I've said jokingly in the last couple posts in the title that uh, my uh, Painter Pole 40 meter end fed. I joked that all it did was work, but I joked that I was tr I was in search of Envis, and all it did was work C QRP DX. You know what, man? <laughs> I don't know what to t say. Look at this thing, man. I'm the whole. <laughs> you know, come on, man. It's knee high. <laughs> wow. Hey, look it. My antenna's got standing waves on it. Um, <laughs> you know what, man? So I make a call. Do I make an Envis contact on my first call? No. Nope, nope. I work Czechoslovakia. <laughs> That's crazy. That's just nuts.